I'm sure anyone Chinese that's seen on the website, they will know more. But when you give it to them, even though I don't speak Chinese, maybe 10 words, and they don't speak English, and then they see that expect a miracle on the card, their little eyes always light up. And it's like, and they hold on to it. And then they, they, you see them six months later or a year later, and then they have the card with them, and they show it to me, and they, they show me the Expect the Miracle side, and I know they're communicating in their own way, eye to eye, heart to heart, that something happened to them. So I really am a believer in messages. I really believe that we are all messengers of ideas and that there are so many times when we are having a terrible day or someone lost a job or someone lost somebody that they loved and and they're going through a very rough time or maybe a war started or maybe you know they lost everything or maybe something wonderful happened to them maybe that day they became a grandparent or a parent or something magnificent happened and then all of a sudden they have this card that you pass to them that says expect a miracle all of a sudden they can go ahead and just liven up and say, wow, this is exactly what I needed, or yes, I had a miracle today. You know, I just came back from the hospital and my wife just had the most wonderful baby and today was a miracle day. So we don't know where this card came from. We don't know where this card is gonna go. We just know that when we begin to pass messages like that, when we are willing to open our hearts and know that every day someone does need a miracle for them. And for them, it could be the tiniest thing. It could be something so simple that they need. And of course, we are, our organization, we are about creating huge miracles. For me, my mission is to transform educational systems around the world to eradicate poverty and hunger. And to this and this day, and I think it could be a little less, but the latest statistics that were given to me about a year ago were that there were 17,000 children that on a daily basis died of either starvation or lack of clean water or lack of electricity to keep medicine. So we have a philosophy in our organization that we learned from somewhere, which is how do you eat an elephant? And it's one bite at a time. So we're working on the big miracle of eradicating poverty and hunger. And maybe something as simple as a little card that says Ex expect a miracle reminds me every day that that will be the miracle of all miracles for me. I'm hoping that before I leave this world, that I would have contributed a little bit to the eradication of hunger and poverty. That all families around the world will have some sort of shelter. That they will have a house, a roof over their heads. That they will have enough to eat. That they will have basic education. They will have clean water. They will have at least a basics handle. And then we educate them so that they continue to expand their level of prosperity. I truly, truly believe that for those of us that know more, for those of us that have a little bit more experience, that have more knowledge, that have more money, that have more health, that have more wealth, that I think the Great Spirit set it up for us to share that. And our great mentor back, Mr. Fuller, taught us that. He never said the word, expect a miracle. I don't remember him saying that. I have never read that. But I do know that he did share with us that if we do commit ourselves to the betterment of humanity, that we will have better lives. And I will share with John, I will give him a copy of this wonderful um, statement that Bucky made when he was getting ready to take his life in 1927 because he felt like such a useless human being and the realization that he had and I'm sure he'll put it up in his website for you to read it but basically it's about really knowing that you do not own yourself that you really do belong to the universe and when you really share yourself and you share your wealth and your knowledge and your wisdom and whatever you can share with people that you will create miracles for them. So it could be something as simple as giving someone a card, expect a miracle. Or it could be that you are committed 
to the betterment of humanity and that you're working on a huge miracle. And even though it may happen after we leave this world, maybe we will not witness it ourselves, I think that we can all leave this world a better place and that we will have a better time, you know, in our older years as we begin to leave legacy for others, as we begin to look around and see that we did the best we could, not only to become more loving, more prosperous, more joyful, and have more freedom in our own lives, that we also contributed to others. So I am expecting a huge miracle. I am expecting for me to make a huge difference. And if I don't do it myself, the precessional effects, the ripple effects, the, the little pebble that we threw in that pond, and it's, that ripple is gonna go way to another place that I may never know what happens, that I will have supported someone in having a little tiny miracle or a huge miracle that day. And that's all I can do. That is all I can do. I do know that if I don't do anything, then I didn't do anything. I didn't help out. I didn't contribute in some way. So if this is the way I'm supposed to contribute, I do know that it keeps me young, it keeps me healthy, it keeps me happy, it keeps me prosperous, it keeps me abundant, and my life just seems to get better. So thank you so much for listening to this. I hope that I have been able to help you in some way, but do know that you can't expect a miracle, and thank you so much. <laughs>